here because the outside world rejects you. Ninja Turtle deaths. There have only been a few in Ninja Turtles lore. Most recently, we've been seeing them in the ongoing Last Ronin comics, which is a fantastic series by the way. If you haven't read it, you should definitely check it out. But before all that, it had only happened a couple times. In a previous video, we've already discussed what happened to Donatello in the old 90s Image comics. Truly brutal what happens to him. Now, those were the old comics, and unfortunately for Donatello, a few years ago in the current ongoing Ninja Turtles comics, he faced death yet again. How did he fare this time? Well, that's what we're going to talk about in today's video. We'll talk about what led up to this, how it went down, and the aftermath of the situation. So buckle up, grab a slice of pizza, and dive into the sewers, because today we're going to take a look at the time Bebop and Rocksteady killed Donatello. At this point in the IDW comics, 40 some odd issues in, a lot of things had been building up for a long time, but I feel the best place to start is at the beginning of this arc of when this happens, the attack on the Technodrome arc, which begins at issue 41. Krang has his Technodrome on an island and begins the process of terraforming Earth. Obviously this will be bad for Earth's inhabitants as they won't survive this. Donatello hatches a plan to stop him. Speaking through his robot metalhead, he has a meeting with Shredder. The two form a secret temporary alliance to take down Krang. You see Shredder and Krang have this beef that's been going on for hundreds of years. So Shredder has something to gain from this. Yeah, for those not familiar with the IDW comics, it has a pretty interesting and unique story. There are parts of it I really enjoy. But back to the plot, Shredder will provide troops for this attack and Donatello will provide access to a teleporter that he and the rest of the turtles were going to use to get to the island as well. Now, due to the unorthodox nature of this plan, he doesn't tell his brothers about it. And even more, there's another problem. Fugitoid and Baxter Stockman are being held on Krang's island and being forced to help activate the Technodrome. They have been for some time now. Fugitoid knows about Donatello's plan. They have been secretly staying in contact, but due to some changes in the plans, Krang speeds up the process of activating the Technodrome, and it starts to seem like the Turtles and Shredder won't make it in time. So Fugitoid decides to tell Stockman about what's going on, in a last ditch effort to come up with some type of way to stall the activation. This somewhat works, as once they tell Krang about what's coming, it distracts him. He starts worrying and preparing for the attack instead of focusing on the activation of the Technodrome. The time has come and the turtles prepare to enter the portal that'll take them to the island. Last minute, Donatello tells his brothers that he's not going, that someone will have to stay back and deal with the technical stuff regarding the portal, and that someone is him. The brothers, sad that Don isn't going with him, end up heading out. Now, what Donatello told his brothers wasn't exactly truthful. Yes, he's staying back to man the machine, but also he's staying back to allow access for the Shredder and the Foot to go through as well. Shredder and his forces arrive. It gets a bit uncomfortable as the Foot and the rest of Shredder's forces snoop around the place, uncarefully handling things. Donatello tries to get to the point and send them through the portal, but Shredder says not so fast that he'll be leaving a party behind to ensure no treachery will take place on Don's part. So pretty much insurance in case Don tries to backstab him. Now, what's his insurance? Bebop and Rocksteady. Their orders? To kill Donatello at the first sign of betrayal. You can tell things start getting really weird as Bebop and Rocksteady start hovering over Donatello. Don starts up the portal. Shredder turns at Donatello one last time before he walks through and says, remember Donatello, betrayal is death. As soon as Shredder and his forces arrive to the island, they are ambushed by Crane. A big battle breaks out. During the fight, Shredder gets messed up pretty bad, and it looked like he may meet his end. This is when he radios in to Bebop and Rocksteady and delivers the message, kill the turtle. Donatello's right next to them when this is happening and hears the whole thing. Unfortunately though, Donatello is cornered. Rocksteady takes a swing at him with a sledgehammer. Donnie is able to avoid it and get some licks of his own in. It's no use though. Rocksteady finally connects with a swing of the hammer, sending Donatello Donatello crashing into a pillar. Bebop picks up Donatello's bow staff and snaps it in half. Donnie is lifted into the air by Bebop, but suddenly Metalhead jumps in to help out Don. Metalhead now being controlled by Don's friend Harold, who had been working with Donatello remotely through this whole process. Harold, through Metalhead, tells Donnie to run, and Donatello makes a break for the door. But just as he's about to get there, they throw a monitor at him, knocking him down to the ground. Donnie is visibly shook by this, when suddenly Bebop comes up to him and smashes him across the head with a keyboard and continues to pummel him. Rocksteady wants to jump in and picks up his sledgehammer from the ground, 
while Bebop holds Donatello down. Donatello screams at them to get off, but it's no use. He's helpless, as Rocksteady winds up his sledgehammer and smashes it down, destroying Donatello's shell. And to add insult to injury, as Donnie lies there dying, Bebop and Rocksteady make light of what just happened, with Bebop saying, Whoa, you just split him in half, man. Gross. And Rocksteady saying, Yeah, I didn't expect it to look like that under there. The two then proceed to leave a bloody Donatello as he lies alone, dying. Through Metalhead's eyes, Donatello's friend Harold saw the whole thing go down, and so he reaches out to get word to Splinter that something has happened. And so Splinter heads over to the location alongside allies Angel and Alapex. Around this same time, the Turtles are wrapping up their business on Krang's Island and are returning through the portal. Arriving back in the laboratory, which is now all in ruins due to Bebop and Rocksteady, the Turtles see their allies are now there, but that they're all crying. Then they see it, what happened while they were gone. We see Splinter is on his knees crying, holding Donatello's dead body. Michelangelo starts crying on Leonardo's shoulder. Leo just looks like he's in shock. Raphael is boiling over as tears start coming out of his eyes. A brutal, devastating moment for the team. Fugitoid arrives to the scene a little after the turtles. Stunned by what he sees, he quickly goes to examine the body. He indicates that Donnie is dying, but that he's not quite dead yet. He has them put Donnie's body in a cold storage. What happens next I found very interesting. Fugitoid, using a technique that he had used before on Planet Neutrino, transfers Donatello's mind out of his dying body and into Metalhead. Donnie is now inside Metalhead and later on can be seen taking care of his own comatose body, which he won't be able to go back into until it is fully healed. Now this is where Fugitoid helps. He starts building an artificial shell that they'll attach to Donatello's body using the mutagen ooze. This will heal it back to normal. This does eventually happen, but it's while Donatello is still in Metalhead's body and busy with his brothers after Splinter challenged Shredder to the gauntlet. This is where two masters choose four fighters each to battle each other. It's in the middle of this battle when Metalhead Donnie gets a call. His body is ready. And so during this gauntlet, Donnie, without telling anybody what's going on, walks up to Bebop and Rocksteady and self-destructs himself. Everyone thinks Donatello just sacrificed himself and are devastated again. But this doesn't last long, as Donatello, now back in his healed body, jumps down and smacks Bebop and Rocksteady with his new metal bow staff. Donatello is back. His brothers celebrate his return and continue the fight. And this is how Donatello died and came back in the IDW comics. Alright everyone, thanks for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed that quick look at what I believe is a big moment in these turtle story. Poor Donnie, he's been killed a couple times now in different versions of the TMNT, but to me, regardless of which turtle bites the dust, I do like it when something dire like this happens every once in a while. I feel like the turtles are always at their best when you see their lighthearted, joking around brotherhood relationship contrasted by the dangerous world that awaits them above. I feel like it works so good every time. But yeah, just wanted to talk about that for a little bit with you guys. What do you think? Do you remember when this happened? What were your reactions? Let me know down below in the comment section. If you're new here and you enjoyed this video, go ahead, hit subscribe to make sure to catch more videos like this. Thanks everyone for watching. I will see you in a little bit with another one. Take care.